let's check what's changed in the version 0.90.2 of Logic World. Hi, in this video I'll showcase you some of the changes in this version. If you want to know everything that has changed, please check the blog post from the developer, the link is in the video description. So the first point is that cloning and grabbing big structures should feel a lot faster. Before when I would grab these big structures like this, it will freeze a lot when moving and placing, but down there there's no, no freeze, it's just instant. It, it is a, a big improvement. The second thing is that the default wire rotation is different. I didn't notice a difference, but it says the, the algorithm was changed and it will look a bit better. So if you see any difference in your wires, uh, that might be it. The next point is if we go to settings, there's now a new option called outline connected peg wires. This one, it should be off by default. I'll add already Tony turned it on. And if I alight some peg, we can see that now it alights the wires around it. The next point says when resizing components, the collision box is now active. I don't know how this was before, but now it, it clearly works. We cannot resize and it's colliding with the top mount. The next point is that before, if we grab or resize something to an invalid place, for example, here the wire on the right will be destroyed because it's an invalid place, we could use the undo function with Ctrl Z and the wire would appear. So this move would be kind of two steps and one of the steps would have the wire connected even though it, has, it is in an invalid place. But now if I Ctrl Z, it just rolls back to the previous place as it should. One big change is that you can no longer have a delay of just one tick. The minimum is now two. The idea here is that you could use a buffer instead. It has exactly the same functionality. So, yeah. But if you have any in your world, delayers with just one tick, they should still work as they were before. You just, you can no longer um, place them. One other change related to the delayers is that before, for some reason, we could not edit the delay length after we had it placed in some circuits. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Now it should always work. The next one is that before you could not rotate buffers without grabbing them, and now it works fine. And also, something I, I, I didn't even know, it was in the game, you can change the, the input count of displays and before the, there would be some problems but now even if you already have wires connected it seems to work just fine every time. So if I have all of the wires connected I can reduce the number of inputs and everything is working fine. There were also some fixes in the game audio and audio files and actually in the components related to music also there are some adjustments of tunes and making sure the correct keys are played and finally there are a lot of miscellaneous and small changes that will make the game more stable and more user friendly also for example one of them is when removing multiple items the game could crash and now that should be fixed that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed the update and the video, see you in the next one.